Well, a great day today as far as the weather goes. Oh, I mean, this, yes. is, this is one of those days where you go, happy to be a meteorologist because <laughs> it, is, job, it is so gorgeous outside. Mm -hmm. We were expecting something like in the, in the 50s. My car said 55 when I was coming in. Yeah, officially so. uh, 53 at the airport in Indianapolis. So my but there car was wrong. It depends on where you were. I know the, you know, the airport's on the west side, and we had temperatures uh, ranging from the low to mid-50s through mm -hmm. central Indiana today. In fact, these are your current numbers, so Carmel's at 55. There you go. Okay. Still 53 here in Indy, and Fishers is at 55 as well. So we've had the uh, seasonal temps. The normal for this time of year, Carlos, is 55. Okay. So we are right on track. This is a very uh, standard late March day. We had the sunshine to enjoy as well. Here's the deal, though. Hopefully you were able to take advantage, or maybe you still have plans this evening to head out because we have some changes that are going to roll in for Sunday. Already starting to see the cloud cover increasing through Illinois. The next thing we're going to get in on is the rain, and that's going to happen through the overnight and then really through the course of the day tomorrow, shaping up to be quite rainy. So this is satellite radar showing us the leading edge of this weather system that's still developing off the Rocky Mountains. This center of low pressure is strengthening, and it is what's well, going to bring in our rain and potentially some uh, thunderstorms even for Sunday night. So over the evening tonight, we're in good shape. Not expecting any rain here locally, but the cloud cover will increase as we get later in the evening, 47 degrees through 8 p.m., and then we're back into the lower 40s by 11 o'clock through the overnight when we'll see our first few raindrops, but nothing that's a too widespread as we go through the overnight. Upper 30s to get tomorrow started. The later in the afternoon we go, the better the chance we have to see that widespread rain coverage. 44 degrees at 10 a.m. We're back to 50, and you'll notice as the warm front lifts through tomorrow, we're still going to be in the mid-50s for high, so it stays uh, seasonally on track with our temperatures around 55 degrees. And then we get a little bit of a break from the rain in the evening before more widespread storms track in. So here's the latest. This is midnight tonight. We'll walk you through Future Track 13. Here comes that cloud deck. A few sprinkles possible as we wake up at 7 a.m. on Sunday. And then the widespread rain taking over after around midday. Here's noon. Scattered showers will be likely through the course of the afternoon. And then here's that little bit of a break. Great timing if you have plans to head to the Pacers game here in Indianapolis tomorrow because it's WTHR night. We're going to show you in just a little bit some of the cool prizes you might get if you go to this game tomorrow. It's a 5 o'clock tip-off, so it's a little bit earlier than the uh, normal games. I want you to be aware of that. We stay in the 50s, and again, notice a good dry hour there as we get into the evening. Then we have this a cold front that's going to come through. So we pick future track back up at around 930. Here comes that widespread heavy rain. It will be likely from around 10 p.m. through about 3 o'clock in the morning. Some lingering showers for our morning drive will be one of those wet pavement kind of starts to the day. The rain exits and then the sky clears. And as it does, some cooler, drier air takes back over. So we're going to see some sunshine during the second half of the day on Monday. But it's going to be influenced by one of those cold Arctic winds. So temperatures only recover to around 46 degrees Monday afternoon, about 10 degrees below average. We will stair step our way back into the lower 60s. In fact, Thursday looks to be the pick of the week as we bring back in sunshine. There's Tuesday and Wednesday, a warmer 63 on Thursday. And then eventually we have uh, some rain that will return for our Friday and Saturday. But overall, stays uh, above average with even our overnight lows mild in the 40s and 50s.